Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 4.12 from Nielsen and Riddle book. So the question is use not voltage method to find V1 and V2 in the circuit in figure P.4.12. Okay, maybe let's set the bottommost node here as our ground here and consequently the voltage here will be 0 volt. Okay, and what is another consequences? This node here will be V1 from the ground. So this will be node V1. And this one here will be node V2. Okay. Now let's assume the direction of the current. Maybe this is going to the right. This is going down. And this is going to the right. And maybe this is going up. Or let's put it here. Going up. Because I want to follow this current source here and this is going down here to the ground and also one more consequence is, is this node here is 20 volt from the ground so we'll have 20 here okay we need to do kcl at the two nodes here in the node v1 and in the node v2 okay let's do exactly that let's try kcl at node v1 so kcl said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out okay the only current that goes in in this node is this one here but that node can be calculated using ohm's law which is 20 minus v1 divided by the resistance between them which is 10 and then this one here we will have that equal to v1 minus 0 that will be v1 divided by 30 which is the resistance between them and then plus this one here v1 minus v2 divided by 20 so let's write that v1 minus v2 divided by 20 okay to cancel out the denominator i think we need to multiply them by i think 60 is good from here and we will have this 10 and 60 will cancel into 6 so we will have 120 minus 6 v1 Okay, and that will equal to this 30 and 60 will cancel into 2, so we will have 2 V1. And then plus this 20 and 60 will cancel each other uh, and becomes 3, so we will have 3 V1 minus 3 V2. Okay, so let's add the V1 all, all of the v1 so we'll have 2 plus 3 is 5 5 plus 6 i will have 11 v1 and then the only v2 is from here so i'll have minus 3 v2 and that will equal to 120 okay maybe let's save that as equation now okay now let's do another kcl but this time at v2 again so let's write that kcl at node v2 okay and in the node v2 the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out there are two currents that goes in here this one and that one and this one first that one will be v1 minus v2 divided by 20 okay and then plus this one here is 10 ampere so we'll have 10 and then this current that goes out here that will be v2 divided by 60 i mean 40 not 60 this is 40 so we'll have 40 so what can we do from here maybe let's multiply both sides by 40 to cancel each of the denominator okay and 20 and 40 will cancel into 2 so we'll have 2 v1 minus 2 v2 and then this one will be plus 10 multiplied by 40 that will be 400 
and that will equal to 40 and 40 will cancel each other so we will have v2 so we will have 2 v1 minus 3 v2 and then that will equal to minus 400 okay now we will have this as equation number two okay we have equation number one and equation number two from there and i think we can do elimination because that is a simple enough okay let's do L equation one from here we will have 11 v1 minus 3 v2 is equal to 120 and then from equation number 2 we will have 2 v1 minus 3 v2 and that will equal to minus 400 <coughs> okay we can subtract each other. So this V2 will cancel each other, right? Minus 3 plus 3 is 0. And now we will have this on the left hand side is 9 V1. And on the right hand side, we will have 520. So we will have V1 is equal to, what is V1? That is 520 divided by 9 is it that will be 57.57.78 volt okay this is for v1 now we can just substitute this into equation number one maybe and we will get v2 okay let's do exactly that okay now let's rewrite equation one from here we will have 11 v1 minus 3 v2 is equal to 120 but then 11 v1 is equal to uh, i mean 11 minus 120 is equal to 3 v2 but then that will be V2 is equal to 11 V1 minus 120 divided by 11. And what is V1? So we will have 11 multiplied by this value here. I will have 57.78 and then minus 120 divided by... Oh, this is divided by 3, not 11. So, I'll have divided by 3 here. So, we will have the value of V2 here. Let's take our calculator from here. And I think 11 multiplied by 57.78 and then minus 120 divided by 3. That should be 171.86. 171.86. And the unit will be volt. Okay, maybe let's highlight that. And this is the value of V2. So this is the value of V1. And this is the value of V2. If I did not make any mistakes in my calculation. But if I did, let me know in the comments below. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.